Biofilms formed by microorganisms are a serious problem for the food industry for many reasons. They may harbor pathogens that can get in the food product, make people seriously ill, and damage your reputation and your business. Also, biofilms are extremely hard to remove from your equipment and other surfaces once established, which can lead to repeated product contamination. How can you avoid this? Prevent biofilms from forming in the first place by removing their necessities for life. First, you need to understand a bit more about biofilms. From prehistoric times, microbes and humans have needed many of the same basics to stay alive, like food, water, and shelter. Over time, humans have learned to protect themselves from natural threats, extreme temperatures, and invaders, like wild animals, pests, and burglars, by building houses and places to store food and water. This has increased their chances of survival. Microorganisms have also adapted to natural threats in similar ways. While bacteria don't build homes, they do construct biofilms that serve as very strong protections against dehydration and physical or chemical attacks. Here's how they do it. The bacteria first find a suitable location that offers life's basic needs. Food, water, nice temperatures. Then they start secreting a slimy substance, composed mostly of sugars and proteins. Soon, these sugars and proteins turn into what we call biofilm because it is actually a living film of protection for the bacteria. Biofilms can grow everywhere, from the plaque on your teeth, to the slime at the bottom of your dog's water bowl, to that yucky stuff that grows between your shower lining and the bathtub. Wet surfaces, such as those found in processing plants, are prime locations for the formation of biofilm. Bacteria and pathogens can start attaching to surfaces in only 30 minutes. And within only eight hours, the protective biofilm can be firmly established. As the bacteria continue secreting their slimy sugars and proteins, the biofilm becomes more and more established. Other bacteria, even from other species, may join the community, creating an even bigger, stronger, and harder to remove biofilm protecting the entire community. Once established, the chemical bonds within the biofilm become so strong, it's extremely difficult to destroy. Unfortunately, cleaning techniques like regular scrubbing that would normally get rid of free-living bacteria, called planktonic bacteria, are usually not strong enough to get rid of the slimy biofilm. Instead, you need an extremely vigorous physical treatment. In other words, lots of elbow grease. You start by scrubbing vigorously with a brush. Unfortunately, scrubbing alone will not completely remove the biofilm, but it will do enough damage to make the second step chemical attack with sanitizer, more effective. The best strategy for fighting biofilms is prevention. Schedule and maintain vigorous cleaning and sanitation regimens. Find all the surfaces in your plant where water sometimes accumulates or stands, and stop the leaks, splashes, or drips. Be sure your equipment is positioned far enough away from the walls to make it easy to clean and remove any water on the floor, walls, or your equipment. Standing water is an open invitation for biofilms. Remember, biofilms are formed when there is enough moisture, food, and time for microorganisms to develop, join, and form this protective film. Biofilms protect all types of bacteria, even the pathogens harmful to your health. Once biofilms get established in your food handling area, they are very hard to eliminate completely. Prevention and strict adherence to a regimented cleaning and sanitation protocol is the best way to avoid costly foodborne illnesses related to your operation.